to space. It's safe to unbuckle now. Okay. Oh. 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 What's what's oh. happening? We're oh. flying, Keen. Keen, we're flying. No, no, cats can't fly, Stampy. What we're doing is floating. Oh, is this another one of your spells, Keen? <laughs> no, I, I haven't perfected my floating spell yet. We're floating because in space there is very low gravity. Gravity, that's the thing that keeps our feet on the ground, right? Correct. Gravity is the force that makes things fall to the ground when you drop them. It keeps our feet on the ground, not floating around like this. This ship has an artificial gravity machine. Let me try and reach it. One, two, three. There we go. Oh. Ah, oh, dear, well, that's better. Are you okay, Keen? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. It's a good thing we have more gravity on Earth. Otherwise, we'd never get anything done. <coughs> yeah, good point, Barnaby. Good point. Anyway, what are we going to do now? The clue has changed. It says something different now. It says, The gem of wonder, shiny and bright, resides on a planet with multiple might. And then there's some sort of checklist down here. Ah, we can use a checklist to compare the features of each planet in the solar system to find the wonderment. Uh, what's on the list? Um, okay, so it has cold weather, storms, it must have a moon, rings, it must be the colour blue, and it must spin standing up. Wow! That's a giant list of features. We'd better hurry. So let's start with the closest planet to the sun. Mercury, let's go. Come on, Barnaby, to Mercury. Oh, yeah, wait, we're not there. We should probably uh, we should probably travel there first, eh, King? Right, take it away. I'm not gonna lie, Keen, we look pretty snazzy in these new spacesuits. We do indeed. <laughs> Barnaby, you should stay inside and guard the ship. We don't have a spacesuit for you. You know, that Charlie Tan was gonna charge me an arm and a leg, and I quite like my legs. Okay, okay, Keen, that doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't matter. This is exciting. This is a first for interplanetary cat travel. Let's do it. <clears throat> This is one small step for Stampy, and one giant leap for Kitty Cat Card! Whoa! Whoa, what's going on? Whoa! Keen! Keen, look at me! I think I've got superpowers! What's going on? Look at me go! <laughs> well, your superpower is being on Mercury. Gravity is weaker here than on Earth, because, you know, Mercury is smaller than Earth. So you weigh less, and you can jump higher. <laughs> Watch me! Whoa! Oh, this is amazing! <laughs> this is amazing! I get higher than you, Keen! I get higher than you! Oh, my belly goes funny when I drop down! Oh, this is amazing! This is so much fun! To be honest, all of this jumping around is starting to, to tire me out a little bit. Uh, oh, ouch! What was that? I'm not a what. I'm a who. <gasps> it's an alien! An alien! <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Ian, but you can just call me Al. Um, pleased to meet you too, Mr. Alien. I'm Stampy, and this is Keen. What are you doing here on Mercury? I'm on vacation in the solar system with my pal Phobos. We were exploring and I had to use the bathroom. I asked him to stop, but he said, why didn't you go earlier when we were at the restaurant? And I said, because I didn't have to go then. So he dropped me off to go, but when I had finished, we'd gotten separated, and now he's missing and he has our map. That's my sob story. What are you two doing here? Oh, we're on a tour of the planets ourselves. Mm. We're looking for the wonderment. Wonderment, huh? Sounds expensive. Why don't you come along with us and you can help us and we can help you too. We can help each other. Sounds good to me, as long as you don't abandon me like my friend Phobos. You hear me, Phobos? You abandon me. So, Stampy, Kane, how exactly are we gonna find this wonderment? Oh, oh let's get out our checklist. Okay, let me go and have a, a look here. So our first checkbox is for cold. And yeah, Mercury does feel pretty chilly if you ask me. Hold on just a second. It's about to be daytime. Oh, yeah, look, I can see the sun rising and... Oh, ow, ow, hot, 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 ow, ow. Oh, God, good oh, thing we're wearing uh, these space suits. Right, yes, uh, well, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and it has no atmosphere. You're telling me there's no people here, there's no music, there's no snacks. <laughs> no, 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 because it has no atmosphere. The weather is extremely cold at night and, well, it's very, very hot during the day. Oh, so that means that the Wonderman can't be on Mercury. Good. Whew, it's too hot on Mercury for my tastes. Okay, well, let's go and check out the next planet then, which should be Venus. Let's go. Woo! 
I can't wait to see what Venus looks like. Whoa, look at Venus, it looks amazing. Shall we go down and explore it? You don't wanna do that, Stampy. It's storming down there. Yes, the surface of Venus is one giant storm. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I think that was one of the clues. Let's go look at the checklist. Yes, look, storms, check. But what about the next clue? Does it have a moon? A moon? I don't see one. Does anyone see one? Take a good look. I, I, I can't see one, no. Mm, some planets have moons and some don't. Uh, I, I don't see one here. You? No, either do I. I guess I guess the wonderment can't be on Venus then. What a disappointment. Oh well, there's plenty more planets to explore. Let's go and check out the next one. Let's go. Ah, now this planet looks familiar. This is the Earth, isn't it? Been there before. Pretty nice place, if you don't mind all the mosquitoes. Maybe the wonderment was under our noses the whole time. Let's take a look at the checklist. Does the planet have a moon? Yes, we know it does have a moon. Does it have storms? Oh, another yes. God, I hate it when it rains. We're doing great here. The next clue was rings, I think. Does it have rings? Rings? Well, there's lots of different types of rings on Earth. There's wedding rings, onion rings, boxing rings, ring pops, ring worms, uh, ring uh, bearers, it, ringing bells, uh, ring around the rosies. I think it must be the rings around the planet. Oh, no, the Earth doesn't have any of those, so I guess that means the Wonderment isn't on the Earth. That was close. Well, on to the next one then, Mars. That Wonderment's going to be ours in no time. Whoa, look how red everything is. It's like we're standing on a massive red apple. I wouldn't bite this apple, Stampy, unless you like a mouthful of rocks. Ugh, a mouthful of rocks. That sounds worse than Keen's mushroom stew. I say, steady on. Mars, as well as all the rest of the planets we've visited so far, are terrestrial planets. And that means they are made out of rocks and metal. Rocks and metal? God, sounds boring. When are we going to visit a planet that's made out of cakes? I've seen a lot of things. I mean... I have been all over the galaxy, but I've never seen a cake planet before. Oh, well, a cat can dream. Well, let's have a look at the checklist and let's find out whether the wonderment could be on Mars. And so the first thing is, does Mars have moons? Yeah, it has two moons named Phobos and Deimos. Isn't your friend named Phobos? Yeah, he's named after it on account of him being irregularly shaped too. You hear that, Phobos? You're irregularly shaped. <laughs> okay, well, does it have storms then? Actually, wait, what's, what's that? Wait, behind you! Ah, there's a storm! There's a huge dust storm that's coming right this way! Uh, what are we gonna do? It's coming right for us! It's coming right for us! Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess oh, Mars <laughs> certainly have storms! We can check that one off the list! It's a big <laughs> check on that one! Okay, right, let's, let's try and see the next clue. I can hardly see what it says though. It says, the next clue, the planet must be blue, and this planet is red it's very red oh no we were so close well i guess the wonderment can't be on mars oh well no worries no worries doesn't matter doesn't matter we can still go to the next planet and hopefully we'll find it there come on guys back to the spaceship follow me Whoa! look how massive jupiter is Oh my God. It's the biggest planet in the solar system. And that red spot right there is called the eye. Where? Oh yeah, yeah look, I can see it. A big red eye, huh? Maybe Jupiter should go to the doctors. <laughs> that red eye is actually a giant storm. And the spot alone is as big as the Earth. Well, I have had enough of storms after Mars, but I guess on the bright side, it does mean that we can go and cross it off the list. So we know that Jupiter definitely does have storms and it has four moons, four really big moons, in fact. And so the next thing is that it needs to be cold. So what we can do is we can just go down to the surface and we can see just how cold Jupiter is in real life. So if you follow me, we can go and hop whoa, down to- Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Guys, whoa. what's up, what's up? We can't. Jupiter is mostly made out of gas. Ah, okay. So does that mean that Jupiter smells like flunky and lacky then? <laughs> sort of. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are terrestrial planets. They're made of rocks and metal. 
but Jupiter is a gas giant. We wouldn't be able to stand down there. We'd sink. Okay, well, how are we going to see what the weather is like while we're all the way up here? Why don't we just watch the Galaxy Weather Channel? Here, check this out. I'm looking at the forecast for Jupiter and this temperature is all over the place. Look at that. On the surface of the planet, we have a chilly minus 145 degrees Celsius, 234 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr, that's freezing. And near the core, we have a scorching 24,000 degrees Celsius, 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Yowza, that's hot. Back to you, Glorp the Destroyer. So it's not always freezing then. Sometimes it's hot and sometimes it's cold, which means that the wonderment can't be on Jupiter. Okay, right, well, on to the next planet. Oh, Saturn looks really cool close up. And the clue said that the rings were made of ice and dust, so we can cross that off the list. Check! Yes, but the rest of the planet is made of gas, just like Jupiter. A gas giant with a massive ring! It's got lots of moons too, so that's a check as well. We're definitely starting to get warmer. Or colder. The forecast says it's minus 178 degrees Celsius, 288 degrees Fahrenheit and stormy. <gasps> and stormy as well, that's two more check marks. I think we've almost found it. And the next clue is that it has to be blue. Ah, oh, bummer, we were so close. We almost had everything. <laughs> oh, oh well. Okay, come on guys, let's go. On to the next one. Uranus is a light blue, so we can check that off the list. Ah, uh, Uranus. One of the gas giants, in fact. Okay, so let's go and run through the checklist then, shall we? So, firstly, what is the temperature? Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system at minus 218 degrees Celsius, minus 307 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's real stormy too. Great! So we can check off cold and stormy. It's got rings and moons too as well. We've almost done it. What about the final clue? It needs to spin standing up. Oh, Uranus is the only planet in our solar system that spins on its side. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, no. But on the bright side, though, we only have one more planet left to visit, and that is Neptune. Hey! Woo! Let's go! Wow, Neptune's very similar to Uranus. They are sister planets after all. Okay, well let's have a look at the checklist then and see whether Wonderment could be on it. So it is cold and it does have storms. It has moons, it has rings, and it's blue. But the big question is, does it spin standing up? Yep. It does, it does! <laughs> Yay, we yes. did it! We've completed the entire checklist! Let's celebrate! Wait a minute, um, before we celebrate too much, where is the wonderment? Well, since it's a gas giant, we won't be able to go down to explore the planet. Oh no. I do believe that we are stuck. Hey, hey, ow! I'm over here! Hey, 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 ow, 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 look at me! Hey, hey it's hey, my former hey, best friend and ow, current sworn enemy, ow, Phobos. He's me. on Neptune's moon Triton. Phobos, it's making him feel I'm bad for here. leaving me. You ditched me. What are you doing all the way out here on Neptune's moon Triton? I'm sorry, Al. It was my first time driving a spaceship by myself, and I just got a little confused. I tried to come back for you, but then I saw something sparkling in the distance, and I went to investigate. I grabbed it from Neptune, but then ran out of fuel and had to land here, and now I am stuck. Please forgive me, Al. Please, please, please. All right, all right. I forgive you. Wait, what, what sparkling thing were you talking about? Sparkling thing? Oh, you mean this? <gasps> oh, That's the, the wonderment. wonderment! But how do we get to it? The middle is too small for our awesome big spaceship to land. Hmm, and those pillars are way too far apart, and I'm not that good of a jumper. Ah, if only we had wings, we could fly there. I mean, 
I can grow wings, but it'll take a couple weeks. Actually, wait, wait, wait a second. I remember, Keen, you mentioned, didn't you, that gravity is weaker on smaller planets, right? That's right, yes. So, so maybe it's the same for moons then. So all we need is one of us to be brave and test it out by jumping over the big chasm with the big sharp shards of ice sticking out. Uh, Keen? <laughs> That's right. Oh, what? Do you want to go across? Come on, it would just be like jumping little space frogs going over okay. from one side to the other. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three. Yay, it's working. Whoa. Look at that. We've got low gravity again. That was amazing. I knew you'd be fine. Oh, I made it. My go, my go. Here we go. Oh, catch me, Keen. Catch I, I me, Keen. Catch me. Oh. oh, sorry. I knocked into you a little bit there. <laughs> this is amazing. Right, let's try and jump across to the other side. Tell you what. Last one, guys. I'm on an egg. Let's go. Race to the spaceship. Oh. <laughs> Come on, come on, Al's in front of me. I'm going to take you over. Oh, you've done this before, haven't you, Al? It's my first time, I promise. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, here we go. I'm almost there. I'm almost at the spaceship. I think I'm going to win the race. I think I'm going to win the race. I can see Phobos and I did it. I was the first one over here. Hey. Ooh, that was actually quite good fun once you ignored the cold and the danger of it all. <laughs> we did it, though. Look, that's it. That's the Wonderman. Here you are. Catch. <gasps> Yes! We did it! Oh no, no, it slipped off! It slipped off! It slipped off! I'm gonna get it! Don't worry! I'm going after it! I'm going after it! Oh, we nearly lost it! That was a close one! I found it though! We got the Wonderman! <laughs> thank uh, goodness these, for that. These parties are really taking it out of me. Ah, oh, thank you so much for helping us, though, Al. There's no way we could have found the Wonderment without you. Thanks for helping me find Phobos. Oh, that's all right. No worries. Is there anything we can do to repay you? How about a little rocket ship fuel? Yeah, sure. Why not? Anything for a friend. Now let's get back to Wonderberg and put the Wonderment in the Wonder Cube. Yes, sir. On the double, Barnaby. <laughs> Out of all of the planets in our solar system, Earth is the only one with living things on it. I wonder what makes a planet livable? Why can't there be life somewhere else?